very good morning guys alan from spotless cafe cleaning welcome back to my channel and i must say happy thursday to everybody it is another beautiful day here in the land of the living and you guys know how i like to start it you know giving god thanks and praise and as i always say and i think i will keep this as my opening um phrase this is the day that the lord has made let us rejoice and be glad in it no matter what you guys are going through always remember it's a new day it's a new beginning we have the power in our hand to change it so let us do that let's change what we're going through let's change what's happening to us if we cannot change it put it to the foot of the cross and let our God take care of that. So, let's get down to business. <laughs> As I said, happy Thursday. It's a bit, a little bit chilly. It's coming up. It's in the high 30s, but it's supposed to be high in the 40s. So, I'm here walking from home today in my small garage. I picked up two rugs after I finished cleaning that big rug yesterday that I posted already on my channel. And as I say, God is good. When you think things are getting slow, he's just walking and his time to give us what belongs to us. So let me flip the camera around and show you the two rugs. Okay, guys, so this is what I'm walking here with this morning. This is a braided rug. As you can see, this is the back. You can see the dust already coming out. It's a bit windy. We have a green color here with some tan um, color, brown. Uh, burgundy but it's the same color throughout the rug it's an oval shape and then we have this one here this is a wool rug um, she just need them clean she had them put away so what she does she rotates her rug she have quite a few of these so she will clean this set and bring it back to her when I finish and she will rotate what she have done and then have me clean them in the summer. So I'm just gonna do a tap down cleaning. Most of you guys maybe wonder what's a tap down clean. That's a clean where you do not submerge the rugs into water or you don't wet them completely. And that type of cleaning goes for when there is no urine in the rug and if they are not heavily heavily soil you don't have to do a submerge washing because look at these they're lightly soil and you just need to give a good thorough vacuum back and front and then give a nice evenly spray of your pre-spray lightly agitated with a dirt broom whatever you have and then come back and extract and then put to dry this is what you call a tap down and you don't have to go crazy enough to have it clean and this will dry the rug much quicker and i have the big one here from yesterday i bring it down to get some early morning sun and it is a good breeze blowing so this will help take whatever moisture is left in the fiber out just by having the the wind blow over the fiber it will help the drying process you know the fiber will be a little bit stiff also because of the cold weather but it is what it is when it's finished bring it back inside groom it out properly and then have it deliver for the customer but for now let me take you back here and let me get everything set up first vacuuming then set up my rest um, steps and get down to the cleaning of this of these two
finish vacuuming the two tops for these rugs i'm gonna flip them and do the back so this is the back of the, the wall rug you can see it's a tough same like the one i did yesterday but this one which is the braided you're gonna see we have some dust particles underneath because everything has been beaten down and to the pool liner. So I'm just gonna flip this over and then vacuum the back. Okay guys, so we now have it on the back. I know it may look a little bit confusing for you guys because it's the same pattern of everything. So you don't need a back to the front if you're looking from there. But for me, I know which is the back and which is the front. So we have it flipped over and I'm vacuuming the back right now. Most of these are um, really rod are done with natural fiber. And this is the wall. Natural fiber I'm cleaning this morning. And for that, I'll be using fresh green, fresh green gel from Magic One. I've been using it for quite some time, never let me go. So I just stick to what has been working. It won't make any sense to change and change and change. Stick to what you know works for you guys. Green is 78, the white 
right in the middle. time to show you guys what came out of those two small rugs see that there's a lot of dry soil a lot of hair everything that's trapped in the in the fiber I will dump it so you guys can see also so the pusher has been done you don't want to put that much to soak through the backing just enough to get it nice a nice even wet and i'm going to use my trusted deck boom to give a light agitation Guys, I'm just gonna let that sit a while so it can break down and penetrate whatever dirt and grease is on this fiber. Let me just get my hoses out and set up and get ready for this extraction. Ready for the extraction, guys.
Okay guys, so we are finished with these two rugs. And you can see everything came out beautiful. Look at that guys. So I'm gonna leave them lying down here for a while so they can have some air coming through from outside. I can't put it on the rack because that big that big rug has completely took the the rack up and I want it to um, dry much quicker so I want that to be on the rack alone because these are not wet submerged wet they're not fully wet so they can sit here and just the air will just pass over that and give it some good drying um, the sun seems to be coming out nicely but the temperature is still a little bit down because of the wind you know once the wind is blowing it tends to be much more cooler but anyhow i got to finish these god is good and this is it for today just want to thank god still for this what he sent my way the little i'm very grateful guys so as, as i always said thank you guys for following me thank you for watching as i mentioned earlier before now i have a channel um not a channel but now they have reached a stage in my channel where i can do membership if you guys are particularly to watching something and you want to see some behind scene you just go to the channel you see what's the requirement also um, the super tanks these are all stuff that YouTube is added since I've passed that mark where I can now monetize the channel and you guys can donate little what you want to donate to the channel, you know, whatever it is. I'd be very grateful and thankful for whatever you guys send away. But anyhow, you guys enjoy the rest of the day. Thank you as usual. And remember, stay blessed, stay humble, stay grateful.